In this video, we're going to look at graphical inequalities or drawn inequalities on graphs. So here we've got six inequalities we're going to draw in this video. So we've got y is bigger than 3, x is less than or equal to 2, y is bigger than or equal to x plus 1, y is less than 2x, x plus y is bigger than 2, and 4x plus 2y is less than 6. Before you watch, this, watch the rest of the video, I'd highly recommend you watch the video drawing linear graphs just to refresh yourself on that topic. We're now going to look at how to draw an inequality on a graph. So we've been asked to draw the, or shade the region that represents the inequality y is larger than 3 or y is bigger than 3. So first of all, consider the graph y equals 3. Well, the graph y equals 3 means that all the heights have got a height of 3. So that means that it's going to be the horizontal line that goes through the y-axis of 3 like so. Now we're going to draw that, but before we draw it, we just need to decide whether it's going to be a solid line or a broken line. Now if the inequality sign is less than or bigger than, you draw a broken line. But if it's got the equal to part, so if it's less than or equal to, or bigger than or equal to, you do a solid line. Because this inequality is just bigger than 3, we're going to draw a broken line that goes through 3 on the y-axis like so. Okay, so we've drawn the line, y equals 3. We now need to decide which region we're going to shade. Are we going to shade the top part or we're going to shade the bottom part? So which part represents this inequality? So, uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to choose two coordinates. So let's choose, first of all, this coordinate here. Okay, so this is the coordinate 1, 4. So 1, 4. So the x value is 1 and the y coordinate is 4. The x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 4. So let's put the y coordinate into this inequality because it says y is bigger than 3. So we're going to put 4 into here. So we're going to put 4 in here. So we're going to get 4 is bigger than 3. And 4 is bigger than 3. So that part works. So this side of the inequality works. Let's just verify this part doesn't work. So I've had this coordinate, which is 1, 2. The x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 2. So let's put 2 into the inequality. So you're going to get 2 is larger than 3. Well, that doesn't work. Okay, so this one works and this one doesn't work. So what we're going to do is the question is that the shade the region represented by it. So we're just going to shade in the top half of the top section here. So we just shade it in like so. And you do that reasonably carefully. And then that's the region that satisfies inequality. Y is bigger than 3. This question says, shade the region that represents x is less than or equal to 2. So first of all, let's draw the graph x equals 2. And because it's a less than or equal to sign, because it's got the equal part, it's going to be a solid line. So x equals 2 would look like this. Because remember, x is the horizontal position. That's saying that all the horizontal positions are 2. So what we're going to do is choose some coordinates. Make sure that's a nice solid line. Uh, so let's choose a couple of coordinates. So let's choose this one and this one. So this one is the coordinate 1, 1. So x is 1, y is 1. And this coordinate is 3, 1. So x is 3, y is 1. Okay, so let's put them into the inequality. So the inequality says x is less than or equal to 2. So this is the coordinate 1, 1. So the x part is 1. So you get 1 is less than or equal to 2. Well, 1 is less than or equal to 2. So this one works. And let's try this one. Uh, x is 3 in this coordinate, so you're going to get 3 is less than or equal to 2. But 3 isn't less than or equal to 2, so this one doesn't work. So that means that this region here, or the side, this region, is the region that satisfies inequality. And whenever you're shading it in, shade it in very carefully, okay? And, well, not very carefully, but, you know, shade it in a lot better than I am in this video, okay? So this is the region that would... So, uh, represent x is less than or equal to 2.